hey guys welcome back to simtech channel in this tutorial i'm going to show you how synchronous machine control reactive power in a power system network basically via an automatic generation control to maintain system stability basically by keeping the bus bar voltage at an acceptable level right now you can see the feeder bus bar here the voltage is at 0 0.99 per unit now there is a drop okay because the reference machine here or the external grid is supplying a one volt per unit but along the line via the transformer here and also on the pq bus bar the feeder bus bar which has all type of loads connected to it we find ourselves with a voltage dropping at 0 0.99 per unit now this could be a problem for certain application now how do we fix this now before we get there why is this a pq bus this is a feeder bus bar obviously it is a pq because we know what is the power on this bus bar and what is the reactive power so the active power on this bus bar is basically the sum of all these loads active power and the reactive power is the sum of all the reactive power so that is why this is known as a pq because the value of p and q are known to us but now in order for us to control the reactive power here from these loads and maintain the voltage at this bus bar to maintain the grid stability we need to turn these pq bus into a pv bus so to do that we're going to insert a synchronous generator into our system so let's go ahead and pick the synchronous generator here okay so we pick our synchronous machine now we're going to connect this straight there is no need for us to add a bus bar or a line for the synchronous machine here we basically just going to connect it straight onto our system great now by the way if you find this tutorial useful please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel that will be highly appreciated so now let's go ahead and first fix uh, some basics in the synchronous machine here under load flow we're going to give an active power to our synchronous machine so let's go ahead and say 20 mega what but now the reactive power we're going to leave it at zero megavolt per reactive because the generator is going to generate that reactive power depending on how much reactive power these loads or our entire system is basically going to consume so if these loads start pulling 10 megavolt per reactive the generator must generate the equal amount of the reactive power so that it can maintain the voltage at the bus bar okay but now that reactive power is basically not doing anything it's not going to produce any work it only going to maintain the grid stability this is why the power utility doesn't like system that consume or reactive power out of the network now the next thing here is we need to change this from a pq into a pv bus basically we need to do a voltage control now we already doing a power control now we have to also do a voltage control now in order for us to do a voltage control we need to know the target voltage in which we are controlling now when we look at this bus bar here and we go on basics we can see that the line to line here is 11 kilovolt that basically mean our bus bar here is at 11 kilovolt so which means we need to control this bus bar to maintain 11 kilovolt and that will give us a one per unit not 0 0.99 per unit so the job of this synchronous machine is to maintain 11 kilovolt so we're going to go on the basics here and say new type we're going to create a new project type here you can pick any value here and we're going to say 30 mega volt ampere and the nominal voltage line to line 11 kilovolt the power factor 
let's just go with 0 0.85 and we're gonna say okay and okay great now this synchronous machine is ready to supply some reactive power but we still need to do some very crucial settings so that it can do an automatic generation control or AGC. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and click on the load flow analysis icon. We're going to select active power control and we're going to do it according to the secondary control. Now, according to the secondary control basically means we are taking the control here from the external grid here and give it to other synchronous machine to control the reactive power so that they can maintain the stability of any bus bar we can choose on our network assuming that these synchronous machine are connected or they've got direct control to those bus bar so let's just double click onto the external grid here load flow okay it is on pv so we're going to change it to a slack bus basically a reference machine here okay so it's basically the controlling machine but now we already selected the active power control here to a secondary uh, control now let's go to our secondary controller which is our synchronous machine we double click and let's go to load flow now here we've got external station controller so we're going to select and we're gonna create a new control and under load flow here we basically can choose the control mode here we can choose to control the voltage we can choose to control the reactive and power factor and so forth obviously we want to control the voltage at the feeder bus bar okay that voltage is being affected by the reactive power consumed by our loads so we want to control that voltage okay but obviously by doing so we will be controlling the reactive power Again, if you find this useful, please uh, thumbs up and subscribe to SimTech channel. Also, you can share it to your social media network. That will be highly appreciated. And if you have any particular power system, topics, project you are working on and you'd like assistance and advice, you are more than welcome to join SimTech channel membership. And that way you'll be able to reach out to me for any advice you may need for your project. Now, moving on, what we're going to do here, we're going to choose the controller node here because we need to select the node in which we want to assume control because we need to select the node in which we want to basically actively control. So I'm going to click select and over here, we can see all the nodes that we've got available that we would like to affect specific control. So I'm going to go ahead and select the feeder bus bar, which I know it is this bus bar here. And I'm going to say, okay. Now over here, you can see that you've got reactive power distribution according to dispatch active power. And also you can add other synchronous machine onto your system. And then they can exchange, basically share the percentage distribution so here we've got 100 percent reactive power uh, control from this the only synchronous machine we've got on our system if we add another synchronous machine they then going to split 50 50 to basically meet 100 percent control so that a subject we can see on another tutorial where we can expand the network and see how we can add more control but here let's go ahead and just click ok and ok now we can go ahead and execute the load flow analysis according to secondary control and we want to consider reactive power limits and we're going to execute great now you can see here we are basically now supplying the slack bus here is no longer uh, generating injecting reactive power into the system the reactive power is now being injected by the synchronous machine which we basically just added onto the system and gave it total control of this bus bar and as a result you can clearly see here 
the voltage at this bus bar is no longer 0 0.99 per unit it's now one per unit because this generator here is controlling this bus bar to maintain it at 11 kilovolt and to do that it generate a reactive power of 12.5 megavolt ampere reactive to take care of all the reactive power being pulled from the system then this give our grid the stability that it need so this is it guys for this uh, quick tutorial on how pv buses or synchronous machine control reactive power to maintain grid stability so we basically turned this bus bar from a pq bus to now a pv bus where we're doing voltage control thank you for watching if you found this useful as always thumbs up and stay tuned for more power system tutorial with dig silent power factory until next time cheers